I wish to welcome all my viewers. This is David. In this video, we're going to explain how to uh, create, how to add a DASD to a running uh, MBS 3.8 system. These instructions might work, will probably work on later versions of uh, MBS, including ZOS, but are tested on TK4. Uh, one disclaimer, I'm Linux admin in my profession and not an IBM system programmer, so um, please forgive all my mistakes and I welcome any input in the comments. A bit about my system, MBS TK4 installed in Hercules. TK4 distribution contains both MBS image and also a version of Hercules. By default, um, Hercules is not in the path, so as a preparation, we're going to add two environment variables, which will add Hercules um, to our path, and then we can have the commands that we need. Okay, first step is creating the actual um, disk image, okay? To do this, we'll use a utility called dast, dast init. Okay, we can find it under um, our TK4 distribution. You see we have it in um, several places depending on our architecture. In my case, I'm running, I'm running it from here. Okay. Basic uh, way to make things work. In, the, in our example, we're going to create um, a 3350 disk image. It's about 300 megabytes. You can read a bit more about different type of uh, DASDs on Wikipedia. Um, I'll put a link to this article in the video's description. Okay, so we're going to create a 3350 disk. Um, to save um, some trouble later, we're going to create them using alternate cylinders since uh, a few utilities later will fail if we don't have them um, created. So, just start. To know uh, which disks are in use, we can see our current TK4 configuration file. Okay, I'll open it. And we see you can see where our disks are defined. These are the ones in use. I look for a um, for a slot that isn't in use. Uh, in our case, I'm going to add my disk as 242. So I put it here, 242. Okay, we'll do this later. Okay. Um, something a bit about where to place disks. We're going a bit later. Um, we can see under MVS TK4, you can read a bit more about where what what device uh, address to connect the disk to. Okay, let's start. Okay. Let's see which files are available. So we say we're going to add one volume named uh, Dave01 to um, our image. Okay, so dast init minus a, remember for alternative. I'll name my file name Dave01. I'll dot 242, which is going to be the address into which um, we're going to connect this disk. This is in hexadecimal. Okay, dev type 3350. Um, later we'll see which addresses we can connect our disk to easily. Okay, I'll go over it a bit later. Okay, 3350. And I'll add a volume serial number. We'll call it Dave01. 
Okay. Okay, it's created successfully. Um, something to um, see here. We created the disks with 30 tracks per cylinder. Uh, if you read other volumes, uh, this information is important um, to calculate optimal block sizes later. Okay, you can read about it uh, in the future. Okay, so our disk image is created. So it's called Dave01.242. Okay, and you see it's 300 megabytes, which is the standard um, size of a 3350 disk. Okay, for bigger disks, you can create 3390, 3380. Okay, but we're going to use this. Okay, after I created the file in our Linux file system, next step is to attach it to our Hercules configuration. We can either, if our um, system is not IPL yet, we can add it to the um, configuration of our Hercules. So let's just do it for um, things. But if we have it running, we can attach it later using the attach command. Um, in one of the links, um, we can see um, the syntax of the attach command, okay, um, which we can give to Hercules um, in the future. Okay, but if we add it to the configuration before IPLing then um, we'll have no trouble. Two forty-two. Um, I named it Dave zero one, which is the volume serial number and the file name I gave it. Dot two forty-two. Okay. Next step. Our system is IPL'd, so this time I'm going to have to attach it. This is a command I give to Hercules, so it doesn't start with start. Okay, attach. Attach 242. Uh, dev type is 3350. And file name is relative to the um, home folder of where Hercules is installed. So it's under TK home Hercules. So it's going to be dast slash dave zero one dot uh, 242. Okay. You see it succeeded. We see that it's attached. Okay. After we've attached the disks, we'll have to uh, initialize it or in DOS um, system format or for Unix guys, uh, MKFS. Okay, uh, for our protection, this can only be done if the disk is offline. By default, it will be offline when we attach it, but it's good practice to um, set it as offline. So we'll vary it off, okay, in um, IBM jargon. Okay, and we see it's offline, okay. Note this error code. If you get any other exit message, then you have some trouble. Okay, next, SDALloc. Okay, and we're ready to go on. Okay, next step is to use a utility called ICK DSF. It has different versions um, for use on older um, disks, such as 3340 and 3350. In our case, we're going to use this one, um, not the 13, but the older version, since we're dealing with 3350. Um, I'll go to my uh, 3 to 70 terminal. Okay. You see here, I've, have, I've set my terminal to have two open terminals. I'll log into one of them as Herc01. Call 8TR, default password. Next one, I'm going to log on as Herc02. Okay. Okay, in the second one, I'm going to open the IMON utility, which will um, give us um, 
some input on uh, console status. If we open Hercules um, in console mode, it might not be necessary, but it's easier and can give us a more um, input if we're doing it manually. I'll go here to T mode, okay, which is the master trace mode. It will give us the operating system console setup. It's the same like we have here. Okay. Okay, after we've um, attached the disk to Hercules, which is like physically attaching the disk to the machine, we have to make sure the operating system is aware of the disk, okay? Okay, it's offline and uh, attached. Next, we have to format it. To save some time, I've created um, a JCL, which we can use, it's based on the instructions in the thing. Things to know. Uh, message class um, A, it means it will go to the printer and not um, system console. Uh, unit address is the number we, ga we gave um, previously, 242 in our case. Now verify, volume ID is what we gave it before, day zero one owner Hercules and VTOC um, supposed to be about one track. Okay, we gave it 21 in our case. We can do it later. Okay, I submit the job. Okay, it's submitted. Okay, and now we can see that in the operating system console, it's asking us to confirm that we'd really want to um, perform the operation. So we see here we have um, zero zero is waiting for a reply. So we'll reply zero zero comma u, which means that we do want to format the disk. Okay. Okay, we see that it's successful. We can go to the printer output and we'll also see um, some output here. VTOC is located here and exit code was zero. Success. Next step is to mount the volume. Okay, we're going to vary it online. Okay, you remember before we varied it offline. Okay, so slash V zero, um, 242 online. Okay, we're online, that's good. Next step is going to be to mount the um, volume. So the system is aware of it. So we're going to use slash M, which is for mount, okay? Address is 242. Vol SL, which is for serial number, just the word SL, and the serial number we gave it before is the name of the volume, day zero one. Use, we have um, three types of use, um, public, private, and um, storage, okay, usage classes. Um, unless you know what you're doing in this case, I want to create a volume for my own stuff, which will be separate than the rest of the system. I don't want things allocated to it automatically. This is so I can um, migrate the contents of this volume between systems easily and not have operating system write things, so I'm going to create a private um, disk. I'm going to use it as private. Okay, we have an error here. Ah, vol equals SL. Okay, success. Okay, let's see if we have any output to the printer. Okay, everything's okay. So now we have the volume ready. We can um, test it and try to create a data um, uh, set on it. Okay, we'll try to allocate a new data set. T 
utilities, um, 3.2. Okay. Okay, Dave. Okay, we could create a source data set. Okay, so we want to allocate a new one. Oh, it's already cataloged. Dave 2. Okay, record format FB for source, 80, physical block size. Okay, now here, I don't want, if you just leave this blank, the operating system will decide where to put the volume, depending on the um, storage classes of the attached volume, but I want to specify it specifically that this data set was going to go on day zero one. Okay. Unit is going to be 242, but um, I think it will know. Okay, 1140. Um, it's wrong. It seems to be error code. It's created for zero one. Let's check that it's actually there. Okay, we will DS list. Okay, we call that day two. Ah, oh, day three, sorry. <laughs> My bad. Okay, we see that it's available. Okay, we've created a new member here. Okay, let's edit it. Save. Okay, it's saved. Um, we can also um, see that it was actually saved on that data set using a Linux command called dastls. Okay. Okay, and we see that Dave three sources is created. Okay, this was a short video. I hope you enjoyed it and have nice um, nice day.